Well, I would uh, respectfully begin my assistance with two very preliminary, not factual clarifications. Yes. Lord, your lordships are examining a limited question of constitutional validity of Section 6A, which by itself confined to very few individuals between a particular period of time. This examination has nothing to do with any other amendments in the Citizenship Act, so that there may not be any misunderstanding, deliberate or otherwise, and any further consequences. This is a very, very limited issue being examined. But second, but so far as the ground realities which are pointed out by the petitioners are concerned, that this influx of immigrants from foreign countries, they eat away, as the, to, to borrow their words, but not the resources which were other, otherwise available to them, there are less opportunities, less job opportunities, there is uh, demographic change, etc. Lord, all their concerns are true. The submission is declaring Section 6A to be unconstitutional is not the solution. There is a problem, there is a serious problem, there is an ongoing problem, but 6A is confined to a particular period of time and declaring it to be unconstitutional would not be the solution of this problem. Now, Malod, I would first, Malod, start with Section 6A. Your Lordships have read and reread, but I would respectfully urge your Lordships to, Malod, uh, go through it the way, Malod, I am uh, inviting your Lordships' attention to from that dimension. Because some of the very important phrases, Malod, possibly were missed. But please see the title of the section. Now, please see the definitions, Malod, which are of very relevance when your Lordship goes through how this section operated. Malod, first definition in Section 6A is Assam. Assam means the territories included in the state of Assam immediately before the commencement of the Citizenship Amendment Act 1985. So, Malod, whenever your Lordship sees the word Assam in 6A, it would be without those parts who were earlier in Assam, like Mizoram, Meghalaya, etc., etc. So now we have a very limited geographical entity to deal with. Then second is detected to be a foreigner. Malod, there was some confusion on our side, Malod, that detected would mean ultimately declared by the tribunal. Malod, kindly see the definition. Detected to be a foreigner means Detected to be a foreigner in accordance with the provisions of the Foreigners Act 1946 and the Foreigner Tribunals Order 1964 by a tribunal constituted under the said order. So, whenever your Lordship Mullard sees the definition of uh, the expression detected to be a foreigner, it would mean a judicial adjudication after giving an opportunity that you are a foreigner. That is number two. Number three, and my Lord, this is uh, C and D, my Lord, are more relevant. Definition is specified territory. Specified territory means the territories included in Bangladesh immediately before the commencement of the Citizenship Amendment Act 1985. So it doesn't talk of the entire Pakistan. What is what was Bangladesh? as on 85. So again, we have a limited geographical unit, which is the subject matter of 6A. Well, Lord, D again restricts, I'm sorry, the definition in D again restricts the application of 6A to very few individuals who will be qualified to take benefit of 6A. Please see, my Lord, a person shall be deemed to be Indian origin if he or either of his parents or any of his grandparents was born in undivided India. As your Lordship Malod goes through further, your Lordship would find that 6A applies only to people who can fulfill this condition. So for getting advantage or benefit under 6A, I'll have to show that either I was born in undivided India or my father or my grandfather. So your Lordships have three categories. First, the category in which it applies, the Assam, a very limited geographical area, the category from which the persons are permitted, only Bangladesh, a very limited area, and the persons who would be getting the benefit under 6A have to fulfill these conditions and therefore 
very less number of peoples you know it may be in thousands now how did the government uh, undivided india means uh, undivided india as defined in the government of india act of 1935 that is defined under the 2b 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 but now under the government of india act uh, undivided india comprised the uh, it comprised uh, the uh, pakistan pakistan yes. bangladesh also uh, bangladesh was not there of course it was east part of pakistan, pakistan. yes today's bangladesh yes it was yes today's bangladesh was a part of undivided india but undivided india malot is defined in the citizenship act itself it is it is to be i think to it's to uh, be no lot of sir h to a i'm sorry to a h so there would be a judicial adjudication by a quasi judicial tribunal after giving an opportunity of hearing may name meaning thereby due process will be followed and the person will have to now malot this is a case where i want to be declared a foreigner malot 6a are not the cases where people would be arguing i am not a foreigner people would be arguing i am a foreigner and therefore i fulfill these conditions and therefore entitled to be a citizen but that's the distinction this is a separate class by itself because i get benefit of 6a only if i am declared to be a foreigner falling within the parameters of 6a under the foreigners tribunal order of 64 could an individual go to the tribunal and say that well yes. now in view of this 85 amendment declare me to be a foreigner yes. or does a show cause notice have to be issued to him and the both, offer... both ways both ways but not suppose somebody is uh, ep, not, uh, there is an apprehension that he is a foreigner then show cause notice would go that you you are an illegal immigrant he will go to the foreigner tribunal and say that i entered i, I fulfill 6a condition and therefore i am a foreigner but i am entitled to the protection under 6a if he is not before, before 1985 nobody would have gone to the foreigner tribunal and say please declare me as a foreigner correct because the consequence would be deportation correct so that, before that the 85 have. act there was no question of any individual going correct but after the 85 act it becomes not a cause for deportation but it becomes a cause for protection grant of citizenship your lordship sir right so is there a provision by which an individual can go to the tribunal and then say okay please declare me to be a foreigner or how does it work actually look i i i'll show that but uh, there, there are provisions under the foreigner act he can go but you know that was the root cause of the agitation which started because nobody was going for being declared as a foreigner because the result would be deportation and therefore the influx lot created lot genuine concerns with the ethnic people and that started and the government was lot faced with a situation whether to accept the entire demand of the people of assam or to permit everyone to come and i'll show the government lot somehow lot brought the thing brought the issue down to a middle way what they were saying was that whoever has entered after 51 should be deported that was lot the uh, demand of assam gan parishad assam students union etc that was the demand when lot the government was negotiating and therefore lot the 67 66 lot uh, deadline came into being lot I'll, i'll show the history we would also like to know at some at you may go about it in your own way what is how are those dates taken what is the what yeah, yes, is the logical basis a, for the dates there there, there is 1, a 166 and just not immediately answer that not i'll immediately answer that the first date is not 66 not 66 is taken to be the date because on that date an electoral roll was prepared containing names of everyone not whether disputed or undisputed natives or illegal immigrants and the elections took place in 67 is there a, is there any third category other than this one is of indian indian origin one is uh, other categories of foreigner could there be a third category uh, my lord uh, in the context of this matter there is none otherwise my lord there is a category of uh, oci my lord overseas uh, citizen of citizens india. of india my lord but we are not concerned That's with right. that in that case supposing If a show cause notice is issued, to issue a show cause notice, you have authority. That's number one. It should be followed by a final order. There should be some element of uh, adjudication, no, though not by a tribunal, by the uh, by the by the by the government, the government of government machinery. Suppose he doesn't go, 
He doesn't choose to go go for the tribunal. What is his strategy? What is to be done for that person? No, no. It it then we will have neither to... after Sokas notice or after uh, uh, the decision arrived at by the uh, the instrumentality of the state. If that person continues to be there, no, or, or, if... or what do you do with it? Uh, the the deportation, the... deportation. Then what did you do? Detention and deportation. That that's the statutory provision. Unless he proclaims protection under six A, no, he, he would acquire the status of a foreigner, a uh, illegal immigrant. That is what I am asking you. Yes, ma'am. Could there be a third category there? No, Lord. He, he would be an illegal immigrant. Then, then if he is a foreigner, then he will go and before the tribunal. No, 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 ma'am. Illegal immigrant also can go. In. Lord, this is how it works, my Lord. I can be a foreigner, my Lord. If I go to US, I I am going with a valid visa. Therefore, there is another category called illegal immigrant. That's Because the only category. Now, that illegal immigrant will be declared as a foreigner. Foreigner. By the tribunal. Correct? By the tribunal, who deserves to be or who is required to be deported. That's right. Thereafter, the scheme of the act will come. Will come. Will we'll come. Will. Ten come. years and other things. If he continues there. Yes. Now, you, supposing he says, "Yes, I am a foreigner." There is a need for a for a determination by the tribunal in that case. If he if they, says, "You are also saying he's a foreigner." The tribunal will you now uh, after after adjudication of whole things of foreigner, then he will get the benefit. No, there are other conditions for six A. There are conditions. If if my lord, suppose I am coming from Bangladesh and I admit that I am a foreigner. See the reason. The reason there was a detection.